Today's letter is E, and E is for elk. Now, elk are often described as a big deer, and, and they are much bigger than deer. Now, the thing about elk is that while deer tend to hang out in small families, elk have much bigger herds. And you see here the elk with the antlers. These are all males, and they have that, that uh, fuzzy stuff on there, kind of like velvet. It's very, very soft. And uh, those antlers are used for, well, they're actually used for fighting other elk, although they could uh, be used for protection. Now, this is an example of a bull elk. They are the king, you could say, of the herd. They're the only ones allowed to reproduce with the females called cows. And here this one is giving its call saying, don't mess with me. I'm the one that's in charge of this group. Now, here we have one who's seen something in that tree line and is definitely showing that it's not very happy about it, the way it's tearing up the ground with its antlers like that. So they are territorial, and uh, they will protect their territory. But here the other males are just sitting together, eating grass in peace. Here's the cows doing the same thing. So as long as nobody comes and challenges that bull elk, everyone gets along just fine. Now, they do migrate in large herds. They usually do it at night. And actually, a couple of years ago, there was a woman driving home in her car, and she happened to come across a herd of elk that were migrating, and they walked right over her car to get to where she, they were going didn't do her car any good. It collapsed the whole uh, roof of the car, and she was pretty scared while those big animals were walking over her car. But I guess when they migrate, you don't want to get in their way. E is for elk.